August 8th, huh? No grass for the oxen. That's okay, I bought an extra oxen back at Port Hall. Okay, if we look at the map, we're going... Oh my gosh, so we're in, we're past Utah, so... What are we going in, towards New Mexico now? I don't know. I'm not really good at... I can't really... I don't really know where the states are situated. I know the world... Rough trail, huh? That's fine, I'm, gonna, I'm going at a slow pace anyway, aren't I? Steady pace. Yeah, I'm going at a steady pace, so... Deal with it. Uh, we have fair health. That's good. You took the wrong trail. Bad water. Okay, you know what? Let's get out of this wrong trail, and then we're going to rest, because I don't like being in fair health. I like being in full, in good health. Makes me feel better. By the way, we only have 55 miles to the next landmark. Um, uh, let's go hunting. Maybe I should get more food. I don't see what's so bad about killing the... the okay, there's one dead. Like, if you make, if you kill too many animals, there's no more animals to kill. That's fine with me, I don't care. I'm a, I'm a pioneering capitalist. Dude. Dude! Oh my god, it's lagging, that's not my fault. There we go, he's dead. I'm not gonna shoot a squirrel, what's the point? Jeez. Oh, by the way, it's really cold. How much money, how much food do we get? 73 pounds? Whatever, I don't care if it becomes scarce. Let's continue. Moving, moving, moving. August 18th, huh? God, it's getting cold. No grass for the oxen. I don't want... I don't like that. But at least there's water for the oxen. Come on, let's not have... I don't like this acrid damn land here. We're gonna get screwed. Snake River Crossing, huh? Let's rest for a while. Three days will be fine. We can drink our water, we can eat our food, and we can get some better health. And also we can talk to some people. Let's do that. Down there between those steep lava gorges, twisting and writhing, is the Snake River. So much water and somewhat hard to get to. We've got many miles of desert before Oregon, so be sure to fill your water kegs at the crossing. Okay. See that wild river? That's the Snake. Many a craft's been swamped in foaming rapids. Our waters travel all the way to Oregon. We'll be crossing her soon, and again after Fort Boise. Take care at the crossing. It says right here in the Shively Guidebook, you must hire an Indian to pilot you at the crossings of the Snake River. It, be, it being... Oh, whoa. It being dangerous if not perfectly understood, but my husband insists on crossing without the guide. So, after leaving Port Hall, the trail follows Snake River, which for hundreds of miles, the Snake River gets its name from the way it twists and turns, and apparently it's really dangerous. Okay. Okay. So. Anything else that's new? Let's continue. I'm gonna try and, uh, I guess, I'm gonna see how deep it is. Um... Oh, six foot deep? Six feet deep, I mean? Um, I'm gonna hire an Indian to help for three steps clothing. Good thing I bought clothes. Cool, well, fine, man. You can take my clothes. Apparently, Indians are obsessed with our clothes. Indian guides are gonna help me cross the river. I don't, I'm taking it safe, man. I don't even care. Cross the river? I finally got past it. That's good. I made it safely. I didn't lose anything. That's good. Uh, let's continue on. Once again, there's no grass for the oxen, so I have a chance of losing my oxen. This is getting tough. Getting drier and drier. 80 pounds of food. I think we're doing good. I may... I'm not gonna... I took the wrong trail. Let's hunt. In the meantime. I need some more food. I need at least 100 pounds of food here. Because, geez, like, two people can eat, like, 100 pounds of food in freaking one day. It doesn't make any sense. This game makes no sense! Okay, he's dead. Oh, bison. Sweet. Okay, that should be good. Actually, one more. I, I think we're fine. How much food is that? That's usually a lot. 600 pounds of food? Okay, for four bullets, I think that's a good uh, trade-off. Great! Oh, health is fair. Yeah, uh, we're finally in green again. I like that color green. We're delayed, it doesn't matter though. We're having nice September weather here. And apparently the weather has become nice. It's raining. That's awesome. Finally. <clears throat> We got 244 pounds of food. I think we're gonna be doing good. Oh, okay. He got sick and died. He got a broken leg, got sick and died in half a second. Let's mourn for a bit. Everyone, take off your hats, set it to your chest. Abraham, our last member of the crew, is dead. It's only me and the 
oxen now. It's a very lonely road. <sighs> Should I end this episode on such a sad note? I think I may. Anyway, let's continue on. This is Toby Chimp. What's going on? Let's continue on. Abraham just died. I've lost a trail. Okay, well, we had a great... Good thing I'm a freaking carpenter. I fix anything that breaks. It's nice being a carpenter. So, as we can all see real quick, I want to show you my status. Everyone's dead. Mary and Sarah died in the first 100 miles of leaving Independence. Ezra died in 300 miles. Abraham just recently died. The only person left is me. And I'm in fair health. I have 552 bucks on, on a name. I'm a carpenter. Well, at least I have 229 pounds of food. Jesus. I have 10 oxen, 12 sets of clothing, and a lot of bullets. Uh, so I should be fine. At every port along every trail, the prices have been higher than the previous port. This is outrageous. They take advantage of us. No, duh, woman. That's the whole point. Okay. So, let's see. Hey, we're gonna do another trail. 30 miles, huh? Dang, heavy fog. Ah, oh, jeez. <clears throat> I might just increase. No, I don't even want to increase the pace. That'd be dangerous. That'd be stupid. Who knows? Uh, an ox got sick, huh? That's okay because I can't fix you. I can fix myself by resting. I reached Fort Boise. Okay. Let's enjoy Fort Boise. It's September 13th. Let's write this down. September 13th, we reached Fort Boise. God. Fort Boise was built by the Hudson's Bay Company in 1834 as a fur trading outpost, and its name comes from the French word Boise, meaning wooded. Oh, I wonder if that's how you say Boise. That's because there are lots of trees here, unlike the dry region of the Snake River Plains East. An important stop on the Oregon Trail, it stands on the banks of the Boise River, a tributary to the Snake River. Okay, let's talk to some folks. Every night, even though I ache from the day's toils, my head is filled with dreams of the rich farmland of the Willamette Valley. I'll build myself a fine, handsome homestead, and I'm certain I'll be rich within five years. I like the American dream. Everything I hope is what keeps us alive, friends. You'll never get your wagon over the Blue Mountains, Mr. <clears throat> Leave it. Cross your goods over the pack of animals. Get yourself a couple of good mules, pieces of wagons litter the trail, left by them folks who don't need heed my advice. So, uh, apparently I should just leave my wagon. Oh, shit, I don't think I can do that, friend. Um, let's see what Fort Boise... Well, I'll continue on, I didn't mean to do that, but, uh, I'm in good health, and, uh, I think I should be fine. I, I went to rest at Boise, but eh, one day's good. One day's rest is fine. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's sunny. <clears throat> my voice needs to... I mean, my, I've been talking for too long here, guys. <clears throat> This is kind of one long uh, recording. Uh, the trail is impassable, huh? Can I not die or something? Man, I need—I really need to do better at this. My first—this is my first attempt, so I did really bad. Oh, uh, jeez. What is this? My—the trail is impassable. So what do I do now? The trail is impassable. What do I do? Let me talk to someone. Uh, no grass or water for days. Okay. No, I didn't mean to do that. Talk. Uh, and the valley so fine, they won't twice. Okay, well, shit. Continue. Oh, I guess I'm just del delayed at the moment, so I might be delayed for a couple days. Yep, another day. At least we're getting healthy, I suppose. Hey, how many days am I gonna have to wait for this crap? You can't screw me over. September 27th. It's gonna be winter by the time I get over there, guys. This is gay. I'm trying to kill me. Hmm. Oh, we only got... If we look at the little reference here. We only have about 200 miles left. Hey, I got some more wild fruit. That should last me for a long time. We only have about 200 miles left at the end. Rough trail. That's okay. I'm always moving at a simple pace. So it's October 2nd. Soon enough, we're going to reach Halloween. And it's going to be really un and really bad because it's going to be freaking cold at that point. I have a broken arm, huh? Stop. How did I break my arm? I'm going to rest for freaking four days and see what happens. I can't believe I had a broken arm. It usually takes like a freaking month to fix a broken arm, so four days isn't really going to help. But I have 185 pounds of food, so whatever, man. I'm fine with this. I'm in good health. That should mean I should be able to get recover from my broken arm a little bit faster. I'm moving again, huh? Stop. Rest again for four days. Because I don't even care. I got the time. I might hunt here in just a bit, but maybe if I hunt, I'll break my arm. Who knows? Maybe hunting poses risks. I'm not 100% sure about that. I hope it doesn't. I mean, it's 
stupid. Hmm. Okay. Moving again. I'm not gonna hunt. I, I'm gonna hunt, you know what? Screw it. I wanna hunt. It's fun hunting. Do, 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 do. Got him. I like the sound they make when they collapse. Kabunk. Stupid bear. Is that like a, that's not, that's not like a brown bear. Oh, here we go. Done. Now we got the food. Let's see. Okay, 100 pounds of food. Yeah, I can't really care very much. Um, I think it's time to go. I still have a broken arm, so but my health is in good condition. I just have a broken arm. So let's continue on. I'm gonna try and I only have one more mile to go to the landmark, so it'll be fine. If I die, I swear to God. Okay, the Blue Mountains. Well, at least we have good weather. Let's talk to folks. Since crossing the snake at Fort Boise, it's been mountains and desert. Just dust deeper each day, six inches at a time. No tracks, just dust, clouds of dust. Um, we followed the edge of the desert from Boise, Boise to Fort Bidding Wall of the Blue Mountains. The hills were dreadful, locking both wheels and coming down slow. We got down today. Poor animals, no grass and water for days. Anyway, I'm going to rest here for two days. Because, you know, it's nice. And we got the Grand Road and the Blue Mountains. Oh, by the way, I forgot. I have to read the guidebook to see what's up. The Grand Road, Ronde, French for Great Ring, I'm sorry, Ronde is what it was, is a river that runs roughly parallel to the Blue Mountains. The Oregon Trail crosses through the Grand Ronde River Valley just before the mountains. Its valley is noted for its beauty and greatly appreciated by emigrants as a sign that their long journey, their journey is nearing its end. I like how they call them emigrants in this book. Hey, apparently our long journey is coming to an end, so that's good. Okay, so I just had to rest for two days. I think I'm doing good, so let's continue. Okay, the trail divides. Which way? Let me talk to someone. What does it mean? Uh, are you guys going to tell me what's up? Hey. Fine, I'll continue. Let's see. Trail divides here. Which way do you want to go? Head to Fort Walla Walla to apply supplies. Take the shortcut to Dallas. I'm taking the shortcut once again. Because screw them. I cut, I cut across the safe, the dangerous way. Um, any fog? Okay, see, I had a, I had a wagon axle try to break on me, but I fixed its ass. Screw that. They can't stop me. It'll never stop me. So, uh, I don't care. This girl's screaming outside, man. By the way, sorry if my, um, my... What is it called? The voice. My voice sounds weird because like the audio sounds weird because I'm kind of out, outside in an exterior area. A wagon tongue broke, but I was able to fix it. Oh, that's good. Let's see. Have to, let's see. Can I trade? Nah. No, talk. My cousin Lydia engaged passage. Engaged passage down the Columbia with Indians. A canoe with 17 people and luggage. Am I, am I reading this right? The wind blew so heavy that they had a lad by. Lay by. Near dark, high waves came up over the heads. Finally, they made it to shore safely. Dude, what are you talking about, woman? What are you doing here? You're, you're supposed to be stopping in goddamn Salt Lake City. You can drive your wagon right into Oregon City. Okay, let's go. Well, everything's good, except for I have a broken arm, right? Yeah, that's fine. I don't really need a... I don't really have a problem with a broken arm. I and mean, we only have 35 more miles to, like... Oh my god! Everyone in my party's dead. Ah, many wagons failed to make it up. Okay, who's mourning me? Dude, how do you die from a broken arm? Well, fellas, this is Toby Chimp signing off. I died on a bad note. We're going to do this again, except we're going to win next time. Ugh. Rest in peace. Everyone in my party has died. Costa the, Mer Costa the Carpenter has not made it. Neither has Abraham, neither has Sarah, neither has Mary, neither has Ezra, neither has Jesus, neither has Noah, neither has Nebuchadnezzar. Everyone... Is all dead. Shit. Well, let's enjoy the music before we quit. <laughs> anyway, this is Toby Chim signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We're gonna actually win next time. You guys have a good night. Have a good uh, have a good day. Have a good night. And leave a comment or tell me how nostalgic you feel or whatever. Shit. Anyway, this is Toby Chim signing off. Bye, -bye guys. Hey guys, this is Toby Chimp. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see any more of my videos, just check out the catalog before you. Alright, bye bye guys.